Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the Hamilton Beach Stainless Steel 12 Cup Percolator. Okay, before I begin the demonstration, I just wanna mention a few quick points. The first is that this is the newer model, the 40614R. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you have two different spout options. You could go with the vintage spout, which you see here, that's the one I'm gonna be using today. And you also have the easy, um, the easy pour. Now, it's the same price for either option, $59.99, and that's at the time of this recording, which is early December 2022. Of course, by the time you're watching this video, the price probably changed already. They fluctuate, but I just wanted to give that at time of recording price. All right, let's have a quick look inside and show you guys what it comes with. Remove the cover. These are all stainless steel parts, by the way. <clears throat> So you have the spreader, well it's the basket lid if you will, the basket, and you have the stem. Don't know how well you can see at the bottom, that's the heating well, and there's the water level indicator. And also on the outside, you have the water viewing window, from 12 cups all the way down to 4. And we have a short power cord. And what did I measure this at? I measured this is about two feet, a little over two feet. I think it's 26, 27 inches, so it is kind of short. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. I'm gonna make a full pot, so we'll be filling it up with cold water all the way up to the 12 cup water level line. And we're gonna be using 12 tablespoons of regular ground coffee, that Maxwell House you see in the back. Full pot, 12 cups. Now, a little tip that they give is to um, wet the basket. That helps with the material falling into the water. I'm just gonna dunk that in. You could use a filter if you want, but I don't find it necessary. You do get some material. I'll show you guys at the end of the video exactly how much. Okay, so you take the stem, insert it at the bottom of the brew basket. That goes right in the center of the heating well. And make sure it's secure in there or else it won't operate correctly. And then we're going to put the 12 tablespoons directly in there. And just a little tip while you're reading the um, coffee grounds. You see that little hole at the top of the stem? Just cover that with your finger so no material falls into the heating well. Because that will get in your coffee. That's going to be 11 and we're going to do 12. Take the cover, place it on top like so, and turn this around to show this last part. On the cover, you notice a unlock and lock icon. Match that unlock icon with that black dot. Secure it, and then move it to the lock position. And that's secure. And this cover, this is glass. I thought it was plastic when I was doing the testing. But that's glass. That's pretty cool because you'll be able to see it perking once it's operating. That's something the older model didn't have. Okay, so the minute I plug this in, it's going to begin operation. There is no on-off switch. And I'm going to time it as well. Okay, it just finished, and that took around 11 minutes. Let's check the temperature. All right, a little over 170. That's definitely acceptable. I'm just gonna throw in a splash of milk so you guys get an idea of strength. Okay, let's see. That's very good. 
First thing I notice is how hot it is. That's how I like it. Oh, and mentioning hot, I forgot to, this is important. Although it's not scalding, the outside of this gets very hot. Like, I could barely keep my hand there for a second. So for those of you who have young kids, just an important safety tip. Just wanted to make mention of that. But the temperature is really nice of this coffee. It beats those auto drip machines for sure. And the flavor is good. Nice and bold, like I like it. Of course, yeah, I'm using Maxwell House. Like I said, I'm gonna be using the commercial stuff for the demonstrations. Definitely use a good quality coffee if you're gonna go with this. But that's it, guys. That's gonna be the video. I thank you for watching. Hopefully it was interesting. Hopefully it was helpful for anyone who's looking to uh, purchase this model or just compare it to something else. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love reading your comments and as always, please subscribe, please like the video, that definitely helps the channel out as a whole, and I'll see you in my next one.